So inspired by the reasoning agent um, approach of AG2, I took an attempt to see if I can code a similar reasoning agent without AG2 right from the scratch uh, using GPT-40, right? Instead of using a lot of abstractions and all. Right? So I made an attempt to uh, create that logic. And that is what I wanted to go through in this recording. Right? So let me show you what I have tried to create. So let's say I have an input. The input can be a question. It can be any input for which we need a solution, right? So instead of asking language model to give me the solution immediately, I pass the input to a thinker agent. The thinker takes the input and I ask the thinker to create, let's say, uh, some configurable number of options. For example, here I ask it to create three options. Then I tell a grader to grade the options between one and 10. Then I take the two top options, give it back to the thinker and ask the thinker that look at the two previous steps and see if you can further refine these options, further make these options better. And if there is an option that has some mistake, correct them. So in the next step, the thinker recreates those options. And again, the grader grades those options. I take the top two again, give it to the thinker. Thinker does the same thing again. And finally, I take the top two options and return it back to the process. Now, these two options uh, can be taken up by, let's say, two different language models to solve the problem in a quorum and then we can uh, validate the output of these two options and then uh, see if uh, both of them are, are uh, both of them uh, give me the same output right so that is the idea um, so the, the configuration that I did is the number of layers it will go down right so this I'm calling this the depth right and then this is the number of, uh, like how many number of uh, uh, options I should choose, right? So these are the two uh, configurable parameters that I have created. Now let me go through the code and explain. So I, okay, I used uh, structured output, right? So for reasoner, I have a structured output like this where I gave it a pydentic uh, schema of uh, the input and the options. Right? And then the reasoner model or the reasoner uh, language model, I gave it a system prompt like this. You are an expert in reasoning and planning. Given an input and list of previously generated options, you generate at least four new options which are independent of each other to address the solution of the input. Please follow the below instruction for creating the options. Carefully review the input and previously generated options. Identify and errors, any errors or mistakes in the previously generated options. If there are any mistakes, modify the option to correct them in the new proposed option. Each new proposed option must build on top of previous options, but must be independent and should be implemented standalone. Each option should have a description and share the output in a JSON format. This is the prompt for the reasoner. Then the user prompt is like where I give the input in the previous steps. <clears throat> the grader, the prompt for the grader, and then the grader also follows a structured output where I say give the grade and the explanation of the grade as well. And the grader prompt is you are an excellent grader. You will be grading a step generated to address a given input. You will rate the, actually I should say here option. Uh, grading a option generated to address a given input, you will rate the option on a scale of one to 10, where one is the worst and 10 is the best. A great option 
to address the solution of the given input must help advance the solution to address the given input must be 100% accurate must not have an irrelevant content a bad option does not meet one or more of the above requirements right and then the greater prompt is where i give the input and uh, the step to grade right so <clears throat> these are the uh, prompts now here i create the reasoning steps uh, if reasoning step, uh, the previous steps are, are empty, that means it's the first iteration. So hence no previous, actually I should say hence no, no previous options are available, right? And then I um, use a structured output. I use GPT-4.0 to create the uh, options. And then the grading takes the input and the step to grade it, right? And in the main, I have the logic for this iteration. So depth equal to three is depth is like depth one, depth two, depth three, right? And top k equal to four. So here it's two. I, I take two. So that top k equal to uh, the top k is, is this parameter basically after, uh, after I create a uh, certain number of options in a particular uh, uh, layer. How many of them I should choose to take it, uh, give it to the next layer, right? That is the top k. So I uh, iterate uh, while I less than depth all options. So at each depth level, I collect the options in the all options. Uh, grades, the gradings of the options are in this uh, list. And the grade is, uh, so grade um, is an individual um, dictionary in this list. The grade is two case. One is a rate and the option, right? Then I create the output by calling the reasoning steps, giving it the input, previous steps. In the first iteration, previous steps will be none. Previous options will be none. Uh, I extract the options created by the reasoner. Right? For each option, I populate the all options. So in the all options, now I have all the options created by the reasoner agent. Now for all, for each option in all options, I ask the grader to grade them, right? So after this, in the grades, I have the grades for uh, each option. I sort them by the rate, the by the rating. So the top uh, ratings, it's an ascending order, right? And then for each grade, the grades, and here I use the top K. I said for, look at only the top three, right? And I add those top three or top four or whatever the top K is in the final options um, list. And then I create the previous steps using this uh, top K uh, options and feed it back to the reasoner again, right? And this continues until I reach the depth. Once I reach the depth, I have my final options. And then I take from the final options, the last top K, right? So in this case, top K is two, but in my case, top K is four, right? This is the logic, right? And uh, we'll run it. So the uh, input that I gave is next door to me, live four brothers of different heights. Their average height is 74 inches and difference in height among the first three men is two inches. The difference between the third and fourth man is six inches. Provide the solution uh, options to identify the height of each brother, right? So if I run it, I'll see that I'll get four independent options to solve the problem because I say top k equal to four. But this top four options have come by going through this depth. Set. So once these four options come in, each of the option, I can hand it over to individual worker models and tell them to work on it individually on on based on the option right and see at the end like if each option is giving me the same result or not right this is one way to also reduce uh, the the hallucination or reduce any um, uh, incorrectness on the in the response right uh, the idea is like if I 
do it by four different options. And out of them, let's say I get it's the same output from three options, right? Then I can go by the majority. Okay, that is a particular. So this is kind of uh, a quorum type of uh, approach as well. But uh, yeah, these are the four options that I got because I have top k equal to four. And each of the option is telling how to solve this problem. Right? That's all I wanted to show as part of this uh, recording. Thank you.